Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this chunky style poncho. It's a poncho that my daughter requested, and so I wanted to make something that was quick and easy and had a lot of repetition. And I used one strand of Red Heart Unforgettable and one strand of worsted weight yarn, and here's my daughter modeling her new poncho. At the end of this video there will be an iCard to click for the free pattern. When I crocheted the black poncho, I used one strand of Red Heart Super Saver and one strand of Red Heart Unforgettable. But I don't have enough of this yarn left to do another poncho. And besides that, black is very, very difficult for you to see, so I'm going to demonstrate using an off-white. And I'm going to use this color, which is Red Heart Unforgettable, in the color Parrot. And I'm using my 15 millimeter Q hook. And I'm going to work with one strand of the worst weight yarn and one strand of Unforgettable. Okay, for adult small you will have chained 36. At the end of the row, slip stitch to join, being careful not to twist the chain. Now you're going to chain one, you're going to single crochet in each stitch around. So go ahead and single crochet in each stitch around. At the end of the row, you will still have 36 stitches. Okay, I single crochet in each stitch across the row. At the end of the row, slip stitch to join in the top of the first single crochet, and you will still have the same number of stitches, 36 stitches. Chain one, and turn. Working in the back side of the stitch only, single crochet in each stitch across the row. So single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, I worked all the way around. At the end of the row, slip stitch to join in the back of the first single crochet. And now we're going to do the third row. Chain three, one, two, three, and turn. Single crochet in the next stitch. You don't have to work in the back side of the stitch for this step. So chain three, one, two, three, single crochet in the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around, making chain three loops. At the end of the row, you will have 36 loops. Okay, I worked all the way around, and I single crocheted in that very last stitch. And now to begin the next row, I need to position myself in the center of this chain three. So to do that, I'm going to slip stitch one, and I'm going to slip stitch two. So two slip stitch in that first loop, chain one, single crochet in the same loop. And I'm going to single crochet in each loop all the way around. So single crochet in each chain three loop from the previous row. At the end of the row, you will still have 36 stitches. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around, making one single crochet in each loop. At the end of the row, come over to that very first single crochet and slip stitch to join. Chain one and turn. Now this is the row again where we work only in the back side of the stitch. I'm going to single crochet in each stitch across the row at the end of the row. I will still have 36 stitches. Single crochet all the way across. Okay, I worked all the way around that row. At the end of the row, find the first single crochet and slip stitch to join. And now the next row is going to be an increase row. So I'm going to chain one and turn. And I'm going to make two single crochet in the back side of the stitch. All the way around, I'm going to make two single crochet. So that's one, two. So go all the way around, making two single crochet in each stitch. Okay, I worked all the way around, making two single crochet in each stitch. At the end of the row, I'm going to slip stitch to join in the back of that first single crochet. And for adult small, you will now have 72 stitches across the row. Now I'm going to chain three. One, two, 
three and turn and I'm going to single crochet in the next stitch. Chain three, one, two, three, single crochet in the next stitch. And that's a repetition of this row. It's just going to be chain three loops, but at the end of this row you're going to have 72 loops. Okay, so here's how that row is going to look. They're just chain three loops all the way across. Then the next row is just going to be repetition. It's going to be one single crochet in each loop. Then the following row is going to be one single crochet in each single crochet. And then chain three, single crochet in the next stitch. There's no more increases. And that's how you're going to make the remainder of the poncho. I ended my poncho with one row of chain three loops. When you're all finished you're going to pull this open. You see how the stitches look here and then here after they've been pulled open and that's what you're going to do when it's finished. So don't make it long because it's going to stretch. You're going to take hold of your stitches and see how they're closed up here? Well you're going to pull them open and that's going to cause your stitches to almost look like broomstick lace. I'll show you how to do the fringe. Okay, to do the fringe, I cut yarn approximately a foot long, 12 inches long, and I folded it in half, and I went to one of the loops along the bottom of the poncho, and I pulled the loop through, and then I just pulled all the ends through, and tucked that closed. Now that's called a lark's head knot. And when you're finished, it's up to you how much fringe you'd like to put. You could put one fringe in every third loop, or every fourth loop, or every loop. It's all up to you how much fringe you add to the bottom of your poncho. So that's it. That's the basic instructions that you need for making this poncho. Thanks for watching my videos. Bye for now.